show on Kids Place Live. We've been remixing some pool rules this morning. Just imagining, you know, for our absolutely Mindy virtual pool. Um, what are, you know, we just wanted to spice up the rules a little bit. Just the traditional rules like, um, you know, no running, no glass, no pets allowed. Or this one, no peeing in the pool. How could we remix this rule? Just you know, change it up a little bit, spice it up. Let's go to Kentucky now where Reagan is standing by. Good morning, Reagan. Hi. All right, Reagan. So the traditional pool rule is no peeing in the pool. How can we remix this one for our no pool? Peeing, no peeing in the pool unless it's in the toilet bowl slot. Oh, unless it's in the toilet bowl slide. Actually, have you ever been to a water park where there's that slide that turns into kind of a funnel that you go down and it feels a little bit like you're being flushed down the toilet? Yeah. Yeah. Those are just like, why don't they just call that the toilet bowl? So you're saying no peeing in the pool unless it's on the toilet bowl slide. Yeah. Then all bets are off. All right, Coach Jeff, we're going to need to build a toilet bowl slide mm. onto the pool. All right, I'm on it. Or, or maybe not. Maybe we don't want people peeing in the pool, and so we don't build one of those Yeah, slides. but those toilet bowl slides are really fun. They're really fun. They're so yeah. fun. Yeah? I'm a long-time listener, first-time caller. Yay! Okay, so what you need to do is call Jack Foreman this afternoon and ask him for a spatula. Tell him I sent you. Okay. Okay. All right. Reagan, thank you so much for calling. Have a great day. I'm going to put you to work on the toilet bowl slide in the pool. So here's your hammer. Okay. Here's a wrench and some nails. And uh, I need you to just go build it, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks, Reagan. Let's go to North Carolina where Renly is standing by. Good morning, Renly. Good morning. All right, so the rule is, the traditional rule is no peeing in the pool. What's your remix? Um, no peeing in the pool unless there's a toilet in the corner of the stairs. Oh, no peeing in the pool unless there's a toilet in the corner of the stairs. Have you ever seen this at a pool? No. What if it was like, you can pee in the pool all you want as long as you do it in the in-pool toilet. And then people would be like, but there's no toilet in the pool. And then it would be like, exactly. So you can't pee in it. <laughs> How about that? Um, yeah. Let me be honest with me here. Have you ever, have you ever, ever peed in the pool? No. Never, ever? Uh-huh. Coach Chef, what happens if someone pees in the pool because I grew up with the fear that if I pee peed in the pool then the water around me would all turn bright yellow and everyone would know mm, well you know there's that was a, the only thing that kept me from peeing in the pool the only thing that kept me from there's peeing an in old the pool. uh there's an old secret lifeguard uh uh, it, we'll say, you know what? I'm just going to break it for everybody. Wait, lifeguard secrets? Okay. Uh, okay, wait, wait. Pull everyone close. Everyone get in. Okay. okay. This is okay. just this is just us, all right? So we're keeping okay. this in-house. Okay. Um, so you'll hear a lot that there's a special dye that they put in the pool that yeah. when you pee in there, it turns, like, dark blue and purple. Yeah. That's made up. Oh. <gasps> So that dye doesn't exist? It doesn't exist. They just, what? Just, they just They just do that to scare people. I could have been peeing in the pool this whole time? This whole time. No one would have known? Mm-mm. -mm. Would people know? I think people would know, though. Unless it gets warm. That's really the only that's thing. That, yeah, if you're near people and you're like, oh, let's just get a, hit a warm spot the water spot does here. get warm? Yeah, no, that's that's pretty much the only way you'll find out. Okay. Pooping in the pool is a whole other story, though. Just yeah, don't, don't do it. Never yeah. do then that. What happens? Then? Has that ever happened to you as a lifeguard? What happens? Unfortunately, yes, it has. <laughs> what, what happens when that happens? Uh, what do you you have do? to clear out the entire pool. Yeah. Um, you have to fish out the... Uh, Ooh, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then you put a lot of chemicals in to kill all the bacteria and everything okay. else in there. So, But then, you, yeah, you kind of have to clear the pool for like almost two hours. So just don't just do not do that. Nobody wants to swim no. in that. So Don't do either, you, for the record. Don't, don't do, do either. either. When you get to... Also, no barfing in the pool. No one wants to deal with that. Mm -hmm. When you get to the pool, use the bathroom before you get in. Yes. That way, you don't have to worry about it. Just 
Just the first thing you do, whether you gotta go or not, just go to the bathroom and then go get in the pool. Have a great time, but no peeing in the pool. All right, Renly, thank you so much for calling. I think these pool rules are, uh, they're pretty good. I think we've got these all under control here. All right, when we come back, I wanted to do a little segment that Coach Jeff actually came up with last week after we were talking about the uh, Zero Star Hotel in, uh, where was it? Uh, was it in, somewhere in Europe, right? Switzerland or Switzer Sweden? It was in Switzerland. Switzerland? Switzer yeah. I think it was Switzerland. A zero-star hotel that was zero stars because uh, it was also a hotel built next to a gas station and um, you could stay in a really comfortable bed, nice warm ambient night uh, side lamps for a nightstand, a butler that will bring you drinks and things like that. The only thing this Zero Star Hotel didn't have was um, walls and a ceiling. It didn't have walls or a ceiling, so you're just open air, and you've got a great view of the gas, gas station, station, just yeah. completely unobstructed by any walls. But, uh, yeah, no walls, no ceiling, so zero-star hotel. So coming up next, we're going to dream up some more zero-star hotel ideas, so don't go anywhere. It's the Absolutely Mindy Show on Kids Place Live.